I'm Hugo Madeira and I'm a dentist and I'm here to tell you all about my communication team. It doesn't matter if you work in a large clinic or working independently, but probably you have asked yourself some of these questions. How to set a high performing and motivated team? Which resources shall I have in-house? Which can be outsourced? Which process best fit with my resources and maximize results? In this course, I will share key communication challenges faced by the industry, key drivers for the solution, example of a communication practice highlighting the process used, and a short recap with some insights. Let's start with the key challenges. Yes, most of our communication success now depends on the social media. We need to bring news, articles and cases that people appreciate, engage with, with the ultimate goal of converting into sales. To achieve this, I will share the key challenges I have faced, which probably are relevant for you as well. How to be active in social media, as it consumes so much time? How to have social posts done in a timely and a relevant way? How to feed back the zillion questions people make in private on social media conversations? How to handle celebrities or other relevant endorsers? How to measure results? The common answer to all these questions is to have a great team. I will now go through the key drivers to set this team and to make it bring home the results that you want. The first solution driver is to define the right culture and to use it as a filter for the people you hire and work with. Independently, if their resources are part of your headcount, service providers in-house or based in an agency must fit the culture you define for your practice. They must live it and love it. The culture you define for your practice should be an extension of yourself with social media it will be way easier to capitalize on your personality strengths rather than trying to project a different image of yourself. It won't work. If you haven't done it yet, please watch my video on pioneering digital personality, where I deep dive in this topic. The culture I'll define for myself and my practice, which needs to exist in the people that work with me, has four drivers. Passion, professionalism, empathy, and flexibility. Let me explain a bit of each. Your resources need to have passion for the business, to be always willing to learn and to run the extra mile. They also need to be professional, having the required competences, but especially being accountable for actions and results. Empathy is also key. In the end, is this what you want uh, for potential customers to feel about it? Everything they communicate must conquer your clients' hearts. You need customer-centric people. Last but not least, being flexible. You know the turmoil your practice can be. Identifying a good case to be communicated is usually done on the spot. The second solution driver is to have a clear definition of which competences we need to have in source. If you have enough budget, ideally, you would insource everyone, but that is not the case, most probably, you need to rely on agencies and service providers. So, if you can have some dedicated in-source people, what is the priority? The best way to define it is to ask the following questions. What is expected to be done by me? What needs to be done on the spot? If you want to save time on things that client expects you be there, you need someone that knows you almost as well as your mother. Good example. Private conversations. You shall not outsource that on an agency. The other key criteria is to identify what needs to be done on the spot. A couple of examples. Having great before and after photos. You can't call for a great photographer to come when you just identify a good patient case you want to highlight. Please check my video Why Perfect Before and After Pics Matter, where I further explore this topic. Writer posts on a timely manner Either you have a great service level agreement with your agency or they will not post exactly when you, you want. And timing is critical in social media. Some you do it yourself, though having someone tech next to you to post properly can be a smart decision to you. 
The third solution driver is to hire an agency that knows dentistry business very well. As said, most probably you can't afford insourcing everyone. But this business has specifications that count a lot. For example, you need a, to engage people. You can't show cases that portray wrong procedures. I strongly recommend to search for agency other clinics are happy and they show long-term commitment with the client. In my case, I work with Constant Circle, a Portuguese boutique digital agency that is really strong in dentistry. The competences I outsource to this agency are around the digital marketing performance, like SEO, the search engine optimization, that is your website organically should appear in Google results, the SEM, uh, search engine marketing, mostly Google, Facebook and Instagram ads, leads, um, nurturing and optimizing leads acquisition and quality, the analytics part, developing all analysis on the results, including which posts or articles perform better, not only in terms of engagement, but in conversation, in conversation towards medical appointments and finally in sales. So let me show an example of communication practice, so you have a better understanding of the process I have in place. First, imagine these numbers, on average and a monthly basis I make. Posts on Facebook, posts in Instagram, posts in other social media, answers in private messages, this to feed more than 200k followers. I also run 10 social media. One Facebook of the clinic, one Facebook of the academy, one Facebook of myself, one Instagram of the clinic, one Instagram of uh, the academy, one of myself, one YouTube of myself, my own blog, clinic's blog, and my LinkedIn. It's a lot, right? Virtually impossible if I wanted to do by myself. How to organize this? We start with the strategic planning of the media presence. It reflects the procedures we want to promote or sustain, the overall image we want to build for myself, the clinic, the team, the academy. It makes posts and videos of potential best cases to portray the procedures. Lifestyle videos and posts, my medical team. Please check my video, the social media mix, attracting and neutering patients, where I provide detailed information on this matter. I have a content manager who develops most of the text and inserts the posts in the blended social media. It's important not to, forget, not to forget to have the right hashtags and the links to the website or whatever you use to convert into appointments. Another important point is to coordinate this plan with the photographer and the cameraman so they can plan either work ahead. The agency is also briefed so they can plan which posts shall be promoted to get a higher reach and thus more conversion. All of this is then mixed with the spot opportunities we identify on other cases, celebrities that visit us or lifestyle moments that are important to share. This is all about the flexibility I have talked about before. In the end, we then have regular marketing meetings where we discuss the business key opportunities and we check the activations that worked best and identify improvement areas. This is a key opportunity to reward your team and to highlight everyone's contribution to achieve better results. Be sure to always take some time to this. In a nutshell, let's recap on the key insights I share in this video. We all face several communication challenges, for which the key answer is to have a great performing team. Second, I share three solution drivers, your team living and loving your culture, understand what needs to be insourced to have an agency that knows about this industry. Third, think about your priorities and build from there. Four, having strategic media planning is key. Five, measure results. Six, keep the plan flexible. And seven, take time to reward your team. Having them motivated will make the difference.